Hey, what's up dudes? I'm working on the stroller again today. Part four, I believe. I'm gonna start tabbing everything and make the panels and the templates and all that fun stuff. Everything else is done. You can see I have the grill and the new Nerf bar and the lights on the front. Um, I might be out of order a little bit on some of the clips, but I try and keep everything as it was done. So you guys can kind of follow along. Um, video number three was either very short or way too long because I haven't edited it yet, but I know there's a lot of stuff going on there and it doesn't show a ton of real progress, but uh, I had to make some modifications to the steering. I cut this section out and replaced it and uh, a couple other things that were never on the plans to be done, but had to be done now. So yeah, I'm gonna start tabbing this thing, then I'll make mock-up templates out of the chipboard, cardboard stuff. Then I can go buy the aluminum, mark out my panels, cut everything out, and then go bead roll them. I may use it a few times before I get it powder coated, but we will see. Today is Tuesday, September 13th, and our baby's due in a week, so. <laughs> I, uh, we're missing all the events, the, the Sand Sports shows this weekend, the Off-Road Expos the following weekend, and even if he was here and this was done, he'd still be a newborn and, you know, it takes a little bit of time before you can go do some stuff, so no worries there, we'll get out to plenty of stuff still this year and next year and all the years to come, so, enough talking, let's get to the time lapse and knock this thing out.
we got the stroller set up outside so we could look at it with a solid backdrop. It's kind of hard for you guys to get an idea of what this thing actually looks like with all the clutter in my garage. So this gives you a good idea and it lets you really see it. And we have the upper roll bar kind of stuck up there with the magnets. So you get an idea for that too. So we're getting close. A lot of the final welding is done. Uh, I raised the front bumper, so that's done. I just need to build the seat mount and then I can get the upper roll bars put on. And then it's just um, paneling. So pretty stoked. I will get you guys back to the time lapse and we'll keep knocking this thing out. update I got this side of the stroller finished tabbing uh, I missed some of this on camera but see all this is tabbed the back portion is tabbed I've been playing around with some stuff with the steering so I had the camera off um, but this side the tabbing is done so I'm gonna drop it flip it around and tab the other side and uh, the aluminum is all on order so as soon as that gets here I can start cutting those out I had to put these upper roll bars on. I was mocking some stuff up and I wanted to get them finalized so they're just tacked on there. So those are just mock-ups and then I'll go bend real ones, the permanent ones. Just wanted to do a quick update so I'm gonna get back to the time lapse, flip this thing around and uh, tap the other side.
Mercy on me, well Expressions on the faces of the starting millions of power Write them down Computer drives a clan He's the motive and the conscience of the murder He's a preacher on TV The false sincerity The former editor driven by the big computers And nuclear bombs The kids with no bombs And I'm fearful that he's inside me Exercising his authority We've got the American Jesus Bolstering national faith We've got the American Jesus Overwhelming millions every day Yeah!
ball and chain Alright, so as you guys saw, we went through a lot of changes in this video, got a lot of progress done, so let's go over a few of the changes really quick. Front bumper, I cut it off and raised it up. Remember I talked about a couple videos ago, it looked too low, it just didn't look right, so I cut it off, raised it, I think, two inches, and that gave the right look. Uh, you saw I did build the Nerf bar with the light mount in there. Uh, I didn't want to have that on this, but I had enough space where it would still fit in my bed, and I needed somewhere to put the lights, and they were... Just kind of how it worked out so it actually looks pretty sweet so I'm, I'm very happy with it uh, let's see I also you saw me cut off and change the back spare section I don't know why I ever put that curve in the back of it I my original drawings as you remember didn't have that in there it was always meant to be square when I decided to go with this spare setup uh, this gives me way more storage so this will all be paneled in underneath it'll be closed and it'll have a top panel too so you could take those flip those spares up and that's all storage good amount of storage in there so that's awesome very happy with that uh, it's a stroller right so you got to have a good amount of storage I also got the upper roll bars completed I went and bent new ones and got them welded on there I didn't get any footage of that I don't think so I apologize but you've seen me do uh, that already kind of so those are permanent they're all on there there will not be a crossbar in the front I think I already went over that just because that's where the, the car seat comes in and out so it needs to be clear so there is a crossbar in the back you saw I mounted my switch panel on there for the lights and everything uh, that's kind of not mock-up but it's uh, not done I just I'm in a hurry to get ready for trick-or-treating so I only got the headlights in the power wheels grill and then the bumper lights are wired up it'll have all kinds of other lights and stuff too but for tonight that's it uh, I also messed up and accidentally wired the tail lights into the headlights so that's kind of funny but it worked out uh, being that it is Halloween so <laughs> it's all good there I also added these side steps you saw me build these things these help with the look and obviously Kid needs somewhere to climb in and out of this thing so they can grab the bar, put their foot there, and swing their other leg in, just like a real truck. So, pretty soaked on those. It's all the little details, the, the links that look like proper Camberg links and all that fun stuff. So, the paneling is about 99% done. I have a couple more to cut out, but then I do need to bead roll all of them still. And uh, I have the roof cut out, but it needs to get bent, and then my buddy's going to help me hinge it and put latches on it. So, that's it. I'm going to take this thing trick-or-treating, so I'll throw in a couple clips from that, but... Uh, very stoked on where this thing is so far so hopefully it won't take too long for the next video which should be all the last other little details before I get it powder coated very excited to take this thing out get some use out of it and uh, if you're not following the Instagram make sure to follow that that way you can stay up to date on any events and uh, I post way more often on there so Uncle Dingo vlogs on Instagram thanks for watching let's go trick or treat To the sacred place to see the dream I can't escape. More than some things to Okay, trick or treating's over. The stroller did pretty sweet. Lights lit up the whole road for everyone. Brake lights worked out pretty well in the headlights. Drill battery didn't die. Walker slept the whole time. Let's go get a shot of this guy working. Pretty stoked. I ran over gum like immediately, so that's pretty lame.